ask anybody. We, we can give you the lowdown on all the films. Oh, do it. The ones that are. Can is a hurricane. Venice is damn fine food. Do Deauville is like Deauville is like going to Vegas. You're right. It's like hard. It's like a casino atmosphere, and it's blah blah blah. It's the American film. Is it Toronto? Toronto is pragmatic, Canadian, proud. Where you get down to the true, a real, a different brand of cine a cinephile that comes to see this. It's a bitch making movies. It's a crapshoot every time. You're going out there, they think, I like it, I hope you like it. But if, you, if you're really gonna go throw deep, if you're really gonna make the long, the long haul play in order to try to win it on the marbles, do it something like with Lon and Andy and Tom that have done with, uh, with Cloud Atlas. It's just a bodacious piece of cinema is literature and the literature of the cinema. It's a magnificent film. I mean, my whole life I've worked in and amongst the, the gay community. I grew up in musical theater. It was uh, something that has always been around me, and, and I'm very grateful for the support that I have from the gay community. And, and um, I'm, you know, I'm thrilled that uh, they're so enthusiastic about my work. What was it like working with Zach? He's, he's kind of he's for sounds your sex symbol of the film. Oh, you should see him in his whiteies, tidy whiteies. film deals with uh, outcasts. Do you have any advice for people who are struggling with their sexuality or their interests in high school? Gosh. Um, I guess just that high school is a small pond and there's a big wide world out there and if you can just survive it, if it's not good for you, then there's, there's just so much, so many good things and so many opportunities beyond that small minded and maybe small place. So you just gotta, gotta get out. Do you have any advice for people who would be struggling with their sexuality or trying to fit in in high school? You, you've, got, you've got to rid yourself of the fear of other people's judgment, as hard as it is. You know what I mean? You know, like having love for yourself and respect for yourself. So what advice would you give to outcasts out there who in high school because they might be feel left out because of their sexuality or their interests? What advice would you give to those people in high school? Be who you want to be. It's all good. Feel comfortable, you know, in your own skin, that's all. I want to ask you about working with Neil Jordan. Did you have a favorite Neil Jordan? I know you're very young, but what's your favorite Neil Jordan film? He's made so many wonderful films. He has, he's made some incredible films. Um, I loved The Crying Game. Do you think The Crying Game would work today or was that like a thought like when that came out 20 years ago, it was a breakthrough, you know, and, and gender coding and all that and I nothing know. really happened. Well, uh, you would think that it would push the boundaries in mainstream cinema because it was a big hit. Oh yeah, well I mean it did for a while but then, I mean basically cinema is very conservative medium, you know, and it jumped back to what it was and I mean, it, I'm sure there'll, there'll be adventurous cinema again, and there wasn't the past, and there will be in the future, you know. But basically, the, you know, the Hollywood just wants to tell simple stories that will grab as many people as possible, you know, which doesn't lead to much adventure, really. So, this film's a departure. Uh, yes, it's a different one. It's part of this sort of unconscious trilogy of, of impossible love. Uh, the angle we chose to tell for the narrative is really the, the angle of the love story and the way that the relationship uh, evolves through uh, this transition of becoming a woman. And uh, trans transsexuality has been, I don't want to say accessory because it's not, uh, but it's been, you know, a secondary plot for me. What, what, what I really wanted to center on was the dynamics of a couple going through the challenge of being yourself and uh, transsexualism acts as a metaphor for this.